ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And it is that time of month again. Uh, oh, speaking of which, <laughs> this is a bit of an aside. I, I'm, a, I'm a bit verklempt today, right? I'm a bit, bit verklempt. Uh, uh, my, my, my lovely little doggy Daisy, just over a year old. Uh, yeah, she's just about 30 months old now. Uh, was taken to the vet this morning to, uh, uh, you know, along, along with the cat, uh, uh, Ninja, uh, both of them to be spayed. And I'm not really happy about it, right? I'm not really happy about it. It's like it's something that's kind of like not really uh, looked upon favorably in, 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 in Jewish law. And also, I just, and listen, I have no ability to look after a pregnant dog or the puppies. And I have no ability to give away puppies because they're too cute. It's okay. So listen, it, I, there's no way, okay, this dog could have kids, right? This dog could have puppies. But I, I, I felt really, really bad about doing it. So I was hoping, right? I was hoping that that she would uh, uh, um, start start her, her her time of the month as of this morning, so they wouldn't be able to do it for another few weeks. But no, no, I felt so often it's, it's being done now. I feel really guilty. Okay, I feel really, really, genuinely guilty. I want to be there to 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 hold her. You know, hold her paw. You know, she's all scared. I'm not happy about it. Anyway, uh, 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 that time of the month is also here for SFX Magazine. Uh, uh, I think uh, um, better than it is for Daisy. <laughs> that is here for SFX Magazine. We're going to have a, a bit of a review, a bit, bit of a review of it, a bit of a look through of it, a bit of a shifty. Uh, 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 yeah, give this your virtual thumb through at the, at the, at the, at the not the chemist, at, you know, at the news agents. Uh, in w, you know, is this one worth buying or not? I don't know, actually. There's actually a couple of articles in it that aren't terrible. <laughs> but, but, you know, uh, 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 we, we, uh, we will get to it soon. Uh, um, uh, before we get to it, though, before we get to it, can you hit the like button? Can you hit the share button? And can you hit that subscribe button? That'll be fan dabby. Double dozy. Like, share, subscribe. If you're on Rumble, hit that Rumble button. Uh, comment. Let me know what you think. Mostly sign up my Substack. Uh, uh, Substack is my email newsletter. It goes out most days telling you about content. I put a bunch of comics out on it. It's free, uh, which yeah, I think it's, the price is right, baby. The price is right. Uh, uh, it's free. Uh, uh, and I put a bunch of comic stuff out on it as well. Uh, it's better than SFX Magazine. Let's be fair. But yeah, that's kind of a low bar. It's better than you know, SFX Magazine. Uh, 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 if you could sign up for that, that'd be fantastic. And there's a paid version. They're going to try and get you to upgrade to the paid version. Uh, 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 if you want to, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm not going to stop as well. Uh, great comics are going out on that as well and, and quite a bit more. Fine. Let's have a look at um, this month's SFX magazine. And, and right on the front cover, we see the problem. Who gives a shit about Picard? Who's looking forward to this show? Nobody. I saw the trailer and I saw it with dread. You know, like it was like, oh, really? Oh, I can't believe this is back. Uh, um, Doctor Who exclusive, making of the making of Flux. Again, again, like, dude, are you? Have you not noticed how reviled that's been? Right? It's like, these are not. These are not things that are not going down well. The only people who are saying they, they aren't awful are idiots like you. Having said that, it's quite it's quite nice to see, to see John Delancey. Uh, sounding much less decrepit than Patrick Stewart. Um, fine, there we go. An ad for Paradise Towers. I should really get cutaway comics to uh, uh, come on my channel, or I'll send me copies to review. I'll totally, re I'll tell you. Look, if it's a bad, if it, you know, if if, if it's a bad review, I won't put it out. Okay, I I, I want to uh, succeed. Cutaway comics. They do like Doctor Who spin-off stuff. So it's the Paradise Towers. Nice ad. Uh. God, so not interested in doing pretty much everything I'm looking at right now. Uh, first contact. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, speaking of which, first contact, uh, we have, um, let me zoom in. Yeah, this was Foundation. God, that was garbage. Oh, I liked it, and it just, like, forced me away from it, right? I was just not interested. A uh, bit of Ransom Rays action. Uh, the uh, editor is earlier. Yeah, well, let me zoom in now. No, 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 now it's gone all blue. Stop being blue. Okay, let's try this again. No, well, let me zoom. I mean, if I zoom out, well, let me zoom in. No, that's it. That's your lot, mate. Um, yeah, listen, that you're excited about Picard, I think says everything, doesn't it? Uh, um, what's his rant? Uh, really enjoyed Transformers War of uh, Cybertron, but I found the final part of the trilogy 
difficult to engage with, mate. I think you find a lot of people difficult to engage with. Another cutaway comics, uh, the Thralis, uh, uh, who's doing it? Stephen Gallagher, Martin, Martin Garrity. I know they, they do hire. Uh, I just wish they didn't do everything on, on Kickstarter. I prefer Indiegogo, but yeah, who cares? Resident Alien's back, and boy, I'm looking forward to it. It's, uh, uh, hopefully, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be watching that today. Um, nice little story about William Shatner going to in, uh, into space. He seemed genuinely, genuinely moved and touched from it. I really, that was kind of a, kind of a heartwarming story. I like that. I don't know, that was a few, that was a few months ago now. Uh, cat fight, Catwoman hunted, sees a feline feast, team up with Batwoman to, in the fight. I'm so not interested. Oh, women are the best, stunning and brave. Women together being stunning and brave, brave and stunning. Uh, Second, let me zoom into the news warp. Oh, so annoying. Oh, how else am I going to do this? Uh, let's see the thing. Dunes Dennis Villeneuve has a rondo with Rama bringing Alcy Clark's uh, 73 novels on screen. I thought he was doing Dune Part 2. Uh, Nicholas Cage is Dracula in Renfield joining uh, Nicholas Holt uh, and Ork Wafma. Warner Animation. Um, uh, is take is taking on cult BBC characters Metal Men. Uh, Destin Daniel Cre oh, was it Destin Daniel Cretton returns to write and direct Shang Chi uh, and the Legend of the Ten Rings sequel. I was going to say how how can you return like it's it's already come out right. Dave Batista uh, is teaming up with M Night Shyamalan. Uh, or knock, uh, knock at the cabin. Not really interested. Uh, DC uh, adapt Blue Beetle, jumping HBO Max. Not really interested. Disney exploring Thirty's Pulp Adventure. Uh, so, okay, not really interested. Uh, Neil before Zod, Man of Steel, uh, Michael Shannon and Ante you know, joining the Flash. I wonder who's playing, playing Zod. That'd be cool. Uh, animated Wizard of Oz, uh, reimagining Toto. Leave me alone. Um, and they're doing a new series of the Shadow of the, of, uh, the Phantom. Okay, Resident Alien. Looking forward. Can't can't wait to see it. Okay, I, I, best show of last year. Absolutely best show of last year. Not on BBC. Blimey, blimey. Okay. Um, some Dungeons and Dragons kind of cartoon spinoff. The critical role. The critical role team turned their love of Dungeons and Dragons into an adult animated series. I don't know who Critical Role are. Uh, but they're going to be a prime video. Okay, prime video. Um, what's this? Last exit, the director of The Devil's Light, Daniel Sam, talks exorcism and personal demons. Yeah, it doesn't really sound so great either. Let's see, a news, news wolf was always interesting. Michael Keenan is back in the bat for HBO Max's Batgirl. Really? Man, they're, they're really bringing him back in everything, aren't they? He must, he must need some money. Um, so there's Amanda Steinberg, uh, in the frame for Disney Star Wars, the Acolyte. I'd be, I'd be interested if that actually gets made. Uh, animated, the boys spin off uh, Diabolical. Okay, not really that is. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis writing adult animated take on Legion of Superheroes. Uh, I would check that out, even though it's been pretty much garbage late. Apple making sixth anniversary of James Bond music doc, The Sound of Double I'm not interested. I, 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 I'm really not interested in, in soundtracks at all. I like listening to them, but I'm like, I'm not like a fan of them. Uh, Denny Upper is on Tim, scoring Tim Burton's uh, Adam's Family series Wednesday. <sighs> okay. I, I wonder if it's going to be starring uh, Christina Ricci. That would be great. Maybe because she played in, in the Adam's Family movies. Uh, the, uh, what's it? Who, who made this? Sonny Bonnefield, was it? Yeah. That was good. You should have her. I mean, she looks gorgeous as well. I mean, she's, uh, um, she'll be great casting for that. Uh, DW developing Gotham Knights team. Okay, not interested. The what was it about Mark Hamill and Frank Lagalla and Carla Gigano uh, are uh, joining Mike Flanagan's Fallout House uh, House Archer. Servant gets the second season. Kobe Smolders reprising Shield Agent in Secret Invasion on for Disney. Uh, I, I'm not even keeping up with that. I mean, I, I saw the first episode of All Guy. I, I not even that, and I just kind of got bored. Rising Prophet, Rob Leifold, A Man Out of Time, reporting a brand new movie and 30th animation, uh, uh, 30th anniversary editions. Uh, okay, good for, good for him. I, I preferred the post-Rob Leifold uh, a Prophet. 
right? Uh, uh, that was really weird. Oh, if you haven't seen it, it's really weird. And, and third ad from Cutaway Comics, uh, Happiness Patrol. Do like the artwork, right? Is it is is uh, uh, Adrian Sam doing the art in the actual comic? And one second, let's go back and see see the ad. Uh, it doesn't say. <laughs> it doesn't say. Okay, fine. Uh, wait, wait. Let's go back. Nanny State. It's uh, Servant Season uh, Three. I haven't seen Season One or Two. Is on Apple Plus. Welcome to the Jungle. Cutaway Comics and Tez Skin. Roll back the ears on Demon of Eden. What is Demon of Eden? Oh, it must be Nightway of Eden. But what is Dead Skin writing it? Uh, um, okay. For decades after launching Doctor Who Weekly, Dead Skin is returning and teaming up with Cutaway Comics to edit a special collected edition of the Demon of Eden, formerly the Demons, uh, the Demons of Eden, in Whittington Martin Garrett's sequel to 1909. Uh, uh, Nightmare of Eden was previously serialized on the pages of Omega. Oh, this is exciting. Um, okay, yeah, you know what? I, I, I will certainly check this out. I will certainly check this out. That, that, look, that looks really cool. Coming out in, in February. Fine. They should do a colored version of it, though. I don't know if they do what the artwork. History of Violence, Rona uh, reveals the secrets of Amulet, her director, directorial debut. Not really interested. Good luck with you, darling. Uh, this is it. This was a great book. Ecstatics was a really, really good book, and they're bringing it back in in February as excellent. It was Mark Allard and uh, Pete Pete Milligan. Um, I might be interested in this, right? I might be interested in this. This, I can't, this is a page I will print out uh, to read on the Sabbath. Uh, Station Master, uh, don't panic. Pandemic station uh, tells Station Eleven makes a timely leap to TV. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Okay. It's on Stars Play. Uh, Blazing Saddle. Ghost Rider joining Blaze Roaring back in a new brand new monthly. It's going to be garbage. Um, I mean, if, if it's like everything else coming out from Marvel. Uh, and, Re and Rice died? Really? Wow. Well, I mean, she was 80, but it's, wow. I'm surprised, right? I'm really surprised. Okay. Uh, uh, rest in peace. You want to buy? I mean, look. This is like an anti-advertisement. You can either have the card or um, or uh, whatever name, Burnham. Nobody wants any of this stuff, right? That's the problem. Like the, again, nobody wants any of this. Uh, speaking of which, look at their lead article. I mean, why is this badge so crap? Somebody explain the badge to me. What what is going on with that? Uh, and seven or nine's back in. Uh, uh, man, she must be short. Wow, look at look, I mean, look at the hills on her, right? Uh, um, okay, just so not interested. I'm just so not interested in any of this. And it's just so not Star Trek. It's uh um it's as not Star Trek as Boba Fett. It's not Star Wars. Although, episode five, Book of Boba Fett, freaking awesome. You know how they worked out how to make a good episode, right? <laughs> they came up with the incredible plan. Don't have Boba Fett in it, and then it, then it was pretty good. It was a good episode. Um, John Delancey uh, is better. John Delancey uh, is Q, and uh, Patrick Stewart is whoever Patrick Stewart is. Um, is John at Picard? I don't think so. There's a bit of sushi action down the bottom of the page. Sushi was hot. Yeah, damn. See, so yeah, that was one of the few things that worked in the season. Um, so Ron Nine is hot. Another thing that worked, and strangely enough, I. I, I it, I was kind of okay with her being a lesbian. I just wanted to see quite a bit more of that. Quite frankly, quite a bit more of that. Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, director Elion talks it takes another stab at destroying the world. Uh, destroying the planet in Moonfall, his latest disaster movie. Um, I, I, I Look at that. The Chrysler building falling over. Uh, yeah, I do kind of like a Roland Emmerich disaster movie. They were kind of fun. Uh, when's it coming out? Do they say? I recognize him, but I can't remember his name. Didn't they just like say, say who it is somewhere? February fourth. And uh, why is anything going to? Why are smaller movies going to the cinema? Like I, 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 I like. I'm still not sure if I'm going to go see Batman in the uh, uh, in the cinema. I probably will. I'll probably have to. Uh, designing Doctor Who. This is a Doctor Who exclusive about making the flux. Now, one of the least uh, 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 awful aspects of Doctor Who flux was the set design. I thought that was 
a bit tomorrow, people, but generally speaking, um, solid, right? Solid. I liked how everything had its own identity. Uh, I like yeah, Carvanista's weapon. I think it was a good design, right? I, I like. I thought Carvanista was a good design. Uh, I like dogs. <laughs> I don't tell you, I like dogs. Uh, Tardis was awful. Tardis remains awful. Tardis will still be awful. I can't wait to see it go. Um, quite like the Sontara ship design. That was, yeah, look, look, all this stuff, all this stuff was good, right? I, I'm not going to rank on it. Hated the the division. Oh, let's do something to make it a uh, uh, really boring bog standard sci-fi. Yeah, there we go. 2021 sci-fi. Uh, I guess that must have been Vinder's. Yeah, yeah, Vinder's little outpost, outpost, outpost rose. No, okay, yeah, it's a snoozer baby, snoozer, not interested. Then we've got something I am interested in. Raised by Wolves, Raised by Wolves. Freaking awesome. Season two starting uh, in a week or so. Uh, it, please catch up on this movie. It's so, and this TV show. It's so good, right? It goes weird, weird at the end. Like there's a weird turn at the end. You go, what? Uh, uh, but most of it's about artificial life trying to find sentience, right? Or, or, or Becoming sentient, uh, which I love that sort of, and it's like really, really well, uh, um, uh, well told. Great cast as well. Um, man, they must have to diet and keep fit to be getting those costumes. Uh, uh, like, yeah, every character's led and interesting. Uh, it's a strong recommend, right? Strong recommend. Guardians of the Galaxy's greatest comic. Well, uh, uh, you haven't been doing such a good job, have you? But hey, look at this. Look at this. We have. Like you, you see, everybody male is in uh, ended show, you know, ended stories. <laughs> you, know, you don't see Chopper anymore. The uh, Napoleon Dynamite, uh, was it? Which I never really liked. Any, not Napoleon Dynamite. What's the name of it? I can't remember his name. Uh, but like, see, that's really the problem with 2018. Um, you know, yeah, they don't slain anymore. Rogue Trooper. It's all female heroes because like women are oppressed underclass, according to them. I, I, yeah, I really don't think they are. Uh, um, what's this article about? Celebrating the 45th birthday in February uh, and its second year uh, um, in its uh, and its second year was the tale of two different mergers. OK, so this is an article about the beginnings of 2000 AD. Uh, oh, this is a bit from the Encyclopedia of 2000 AD. Uh, Bruce Campbell gets a uh, interview looking quite a bit older. <laughs> uh, James and the Giant Peach. That's the, uh, uh, what do they call that? Flashback thing. I, I Who is it? I never really liked her that much, really, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, but uh, uh, it was okay. It was the sort of thing they had on Christmas all the time, wasn't it? If this is the version I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's available on Amazon Prime. Um, Oh, Pete Puzzlefate was in it. Oh, this must not be the version I'm thinking of. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, this book seems so uninteresting. <laughs> I'm not interested at all. And we're on to the review. Scream. Uh, like, please, come on. Have some. Have an original idea, anyone. That's why I like Raised by Wolves, right? It's like it's an original idea. I like Matrix Re uh, Resurrections, okay? I will come out and say I liked it. I thought it was a good... I thought it was a good movie that fit, fit into the Matrix. I... Uh, Completely unnecessary, and I love the way they spent the first half hour saying we hate that we exist. Right? I love that. I think it was great. Uh, it was a, 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 an organic continuation of the Matrix, and I think it uh, it really, really worked. Um, but I get, I understand people. <laughs> I have a minority opinion in this. Right? Petrol's flu. Never heard of it. Bell. Uh, never heard of it. Spider-Man No Way Home. Well, shouldn't that be a five out of it? No. Uh, uh, that should be less. Why do you think that movie did so well, right? Why do you think that movie did so well? Because um, uh, 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 it, what, it, it was trying to just be entertainment and not a platform. Uh, Amulet, uh, again, not really that interested. They, they had an interview with the, with the, uh, um, with the director early in the issue. Uh, I, this looked like it might be okay, but I, I just don't trust it. I never, I, I'm not that interested enough to invest my time into it. Really, I mean, it's just uh, Hawkeye. Who gives a crap? Uh, Hit Monkey, no idea what that is. Uh, the Silent Sea, the Tank Side of the Moon. Um, okay, some like Korean thing, I guess, or something. Wheel of Time. 
that people generally speaking hate Doctor Who, even the Daleks. I'm going to read this on my live stream tonight, which will be a few days ago. By the time this goes out, right? I'm probably this will be my live stream on Thursday, uh, the 27th. Uh, with four out of five stars. Piss off. Really? Fraggle Rock. I didn't know Fraggle Rock was back. Uh, what was it on? Uh, Apple TV? I have Apple TV. Which is season two? I didn't watch it. Everybody said it was awful. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Oh, they like Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm intrigued to see what's on the what's in the extras. Um, Last Night in Soho. I wouldn't mind seeing that as well, right? Uh, that, that Yeah, that looked, looked pretty good. Uh, I like Igor Wright. I like uh, uh, Matt Smith, right? So, you know, I think I think I should keep going check that out. Uh, the wait, Wanting Man, don't know what it is. Halloween Kills, Snooze Alert. Uh, the House, um, also Snooze Alert. Uh, Mother Android. Okay. Obey Commands. Um, that actually looks quite interesting. Uh, Woodland Dark and Days Bewitched. What is this? I'm intrigued in this. First release in the US, uh, uh, Blu-ray box set, All the Haunts Be Ours. This intended and attractive uh, uh, presented folk horror documentary is an epic affair. Okay, I want this. This is totally my thing. Over three hours long, it consumed uh, in a couple of sittings. Um, featuring staggering number of interviews, 50, uh, 52 in all, new 52. Uh, it begins tackling the unholy trilogy of the Wicker Man, Blood on Satan's Glora Witchfinder. Okay, yes, that sounds great. Uh, before expanding to the chapter, chapter by encompassing the 70s TV uh, witchcraft movies uh, and horror in the US. Okay, I, I'm not reading the full review, but I, that sounds really interesting. Okay, I would. I really do want to check that out. I hope it's not crap. Uh, don't go in the house. That sounds like a pretty good good idea. It's from this is from 1980. Uh, Boris Karloff, Man Behind the Monster. Okay. Not really interested in the monster or the man. The last thing Mary saw. Yeah, are you Mary, Queen of Scots? Get her! Um, that might be what that is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, Max Reload and the Nether Batches uh, in the the Jack in the Box Awake. Yeah, none of this stuff I am vaguely interested in. Uh, and Net. Uh, never heard of that either. It's on Blu-ray and DVD, whatever it may be. Censor, uh, the story of Twitter and Facebook. Uh, again, all these are like lots of very foreign, uh, foreign language stuff. By the looks of it, session nine. Okay, uh, um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, there's a rat. They have a little review of uh, uh, um, Doctor Who. Uh, Doctor Who Flux. I think I'll read that on a live stream as well. It's gonna be awful. Uh, Age of Ash. Well, they like that quite a lot. Who's that by? Backstreet Ploys by Daniel Abraham. Okay, I'm not, not a huge reader. Echo, how, uh, House of Moon Goddess. The This, they like that a lot. The This. Loki, uh, uh, that 2000 AD book. Yeah, I think I'm going to give that one a miss. Um, yeah, nothing of any interest. Man, there's a lot of books they're reviewing this month. None of which I really know anything about. Dean Kunt, sublimey. Let's. Uh, uh, he he doesn't seem like the 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 natural fit for SFX magazine. They must have just bought a bunch of ads across magazines. Uh, Inferno, Marvel Comics. Jonathan Hickman. Oh man, I feel bad for him. Uh, uh, like you know, he's kind of like trapped in a cage. Um, Jonathan Hickman's film with the X titles uh, climax as well, uh, tech, as well as climax of sorts of certain plot lines. I'm so not touching any of this, right? So not touching at all. Jeff Lemire's got a new thing over at uh, Image Comics Prime Audio. That that might be good. I, I you know I quite like Jeff Lemire. Human Target, uh, Tom King, you, you avoid it like the plague. He's he's awful. Venom, uh, Ram V and Al Uning. Ram V's pretty good. I have to say, I'm surprised how how much I like Ram V's work. Uh, the Gunk, which is uh, reviewed on PC, also for Xbox. Not for me. Terra Nostra, I put the review out of that uh, on Wednesday that came out. Hey, look, hey, look the Terra Nostra, it's, it's, it's the third of three box sets that set the Blake Seventh universe uh, that's kind of one season. It was kind of three out of five. Sounds fair. Two and a half to three out of five. Sounds, sounds fair for it. Um, Peladon, not really interested in at all. But boy, they bought... 
Was it Colin Baker, Paul McGann, River Song? Uh, well, Alex Kingston, River Song's not a real person. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't know, and Alpha Centauri, all in like, really, wow, they really want you to buy that. Um, then we got Buzz and Avian Answer, I, some Avian uh, 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 quiz. I recognize the thing from Clash of the Titans. And then next one, so we're going to be uh, previewing the Batman Doctor Who, more behind the scenes loser from Flux, who cares? Unwelcome, the property comes with a few small conditions. I don't know, Silver Point, BBC's new sci-fi series uh, has arrived. Is, is it is it going to be stunning and brave? Is it going to be stunning and brave? I think it might be stunning and brave. Shiny Veil, the house always wins. Sequest, DSV. Uh, okay, uh, I guess I'll, I'm still getting it. Battle of the Planets. Da, 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 da. I do like these bits at the end where they talk about things they like. Now, Battle of the Planets uh, uh, um, is seared very, very strongly on my memory because in the beginning, when they when they all transform from their regular uh, uh, regular kids into G Force, all right? Uh, I was going to say G Spot. Uh, I was thinking, no, I know it's not G Spot, right? I know, I know it's not G Spot. Defaults, right? But there was speaking cheese spot. There was a bit where uh, a princess, the one, the, you know, the, the 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 one female member, would do a little backward flip, and you will see her knickers. And, and boy, that was the height of uh, uh, eroticism. Whenever it came out for me, uh, if you want to see more of my my juvenile uh, uh, heights of eroticism, go check the season twenty two the Blu Ray preview. Oh my god, that was a little bit too open on us, even for me. <laughs> Finally, we ever had for these. Blake 7, Worlds of Blake 7 box set. So yeah, Clone Masters, Baby and the Butcher and Terranosa. Baby and the Butcher, freaking awful. Absolutely awful. Avoid that like the play. Clone Masters I quite like and Terranosa I quite like. Avalon isn't bad. The, the uh, downside of it is Avalon, the very, very bland, boring character Avalon, uh, which they don't do anything to flesh out and make them less bland and boring. Uh, nowhere near as bad as Star Trek Picard, though, uh, which is... It's going to be awful. It's going to be awful. Um, is this a recommend? Not really. Not really. I don't think there's a... I, I'm, I'm going to read the article about Raised by Wolves. That's about it. Uh, uh, I'm going to do this. I make this video out of it. I'm going to read the article about Raised by Wolves. Maybe I'll get another two or three pages worth of reading out of it. Who knows? Or dares to dream. My name is Sheila Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. <laughs>